the ABBA microwave plasma gasification process. Plasma to energy solutions are based on the patented ABBA gasification process, a system that can transform the physical and chemical components of organic matter into a synthesis combustible gas by means of microwave induced plasma reactions with superheated steam. The ABBA process takes place in the gasification unit. The main body consists of a vertical thermal reduction unit or TRU that holds several arrays of microwave emitters called plasmatrons as well as feedstock input ports. The body of the thermal reduction unit is divided into two gasifier zones, a primary gas dome and a central gas exhaust ring. A series of plasmatron array rings are distributed throughout the body of the TRU as well as the feedstock input ports in the upper primary gasifier zone. Vertical feedback pipes connect the primary gas dome to the lower secondary gasifier zone. Carbonic feedstocks are transported into the upper feedstock input ports using a volumetric screw conveyor and fed to the center of the TRU chamber through a rotary airlock feeder to keep the inner atmosphere controlled. The walls of the thermal reduction unit are lined with high-density refractory bricks to withstand the elevated process temperatures. The plasmatron guns in the ring arrays are strategically placed to saturate carbonic matter with microwaves at an angle, creating an efficient vortex flow that starts the gasification process at the core. The moment an energized point is saturated, the microwave is naturally diverted to the next point to support a chain reaction. Molecules start to vibrate due to microwave irradiation and the resulting friction increases the temperature. The amount of energy produced induces a plasma cloud, a highly ionized gas of low density which causes a microburst reaction that ionizes the carbonic matter separating electrons from atoms and molecules. The high energy allows both electrons and ions to coexist in a cloud of particles. During the process, only carbon atoms are affected and when the electrons are released, the atoms are destabilized. When the temperature rises to approximately 1200 degrees Celsius, some carbon atoms bond with free hydrogen atoms and get recombined with superheated steam to create hydrogen, carbon monoxide and large chain hydrocarbons. The hydrogen and carbon monoxide mixture is called syngas or synthesis gas, which is the basic building block of the petrochemical industry. The result of the primary reaction stage is a mixture of hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, hydrogen gas and some carbon dioxide in a fluidized incandescent coal bed that flows upward to the primary gas dome. The newly formed syngas and incandescent coal mixture is then pushed through the vertical feedback pipes to the secondary gasification zone. Here, a second set of plasmatron array rings bombard the fluidized incandescent bed, concluding the secondary gasification stage. The final product is a unique chemically rectified ultra-clean syngas that exits the thermal reduction unit through the central exhaust chamber. The resulting syngas is ideal for the generation of electricity through gas turbines before being used in a later stage. Through a fischer tropsch secondary process, the syngas can be transformed into products such as LP gas, gasoline, benzene and other fuels, kerosene and paraffin, light and heavy oils, asphalts and tars. Unlike other gasification technologies, the ABBA process will not react violently with silicates, salts, metals or soils. These materials become a small amount of spongy residual slag that flows through the bottom of the gasification unit. Plasma to energy. Next generation waste to energy solutions now.